orbit above Roseway, Captain. Take someone to watch over. Back. Warning! Passing obstruction! They come.
Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Gracious. I was just... What's that? Speak up now. What'd you turn up? Well, that's just... Just swell, sweetheart. Good for you. Pardon me, sweetheart. My old ears must have misheard you. Did you say wrapped it on? Gracious. Someone must have hauled them off Monarch. Naughty, naughty. A couple of folks around here might pay a fair few bits for this. Might even be able to start a bidding war. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but... I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. I found a handsome ceramic manta pillar at a salvage auction last week. flavored power nuggets now with 12 percent more crunch this is
Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Gonna head to Varus for whiskey and darts. Maybe not in that order. Treasures might await us in here. this one.
This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regular... If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. Want a charming copper kettle off that girl who runs the... your drink man. If you want anything else, just flag me down. A new face. What's your pleasure, stranger? Only the usual. Marauders all over space. What ain't I?
This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed? Talk to your local manager about applying for military training and lend your life to protecting our wonderful Hello. Now is there something I can help you with? A better select... Keep hanging around. What can I do for you? You have... Report any sightings to your local board embassy. the viewers for whiskey and darts. Maybe not in that order. Thank you. 
Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. The last day of this posting can't come soon enough. Hmm? Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information. to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled If you're here about the loose seals on level three, story. it's on our list. Tossball finals are scheduled to air soon. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or, uh, sometime dire soon. Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The events forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. That'll put the whole system in a right dire situation. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Station's in better shape than I expected it to be. Captain, this place is supposed to be empty, yeah? Because I got the queerest feeling.
What happened here? Groundbreaker. My comm center already got it. Thanks. Hmm, that's odd. The only messages in the queue are encrypted ones. Looking at the transmission logs, the relay hasn't received a single unencrypted message in the past 36 months. Must be on account of some new security red tape. Well, whatever's the cause, the board and the Earth Minister will see it sorted. Thanks again for saving my derriere. I secured quite the payment authorization for you from Chief Jun Lei. Try not to spend it all in one place. The ship's groaning something fierce, but I can make time. Frustrating. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family... Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducts and panels, we could work something out. Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gang, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from chief engineer to captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean. 
Which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. I gelded that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. You've got my attention. Groundbreaker's safe from melting to bits now. Lots of... This is how... Message from Dr. Wells. He'd like to congratulate you on finding a route to Monarch. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, talk to Gladys Cult Kelly. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the Information Broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Oh, I've tried. I haven't been able to get through to him at all. Silence from the system's own information broker? Not a good sign. Oh, could be any number of reasons. Incarceration, a period of copious drinking, a severe case of the sleeping sickness. Better to be sure than to resort to conjecture. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Captain, an unusual wavelength is coming through Monarch's Aetherwave frequencies. The Eternal is in us all. The OSI would have you believe that your place in society, indeed in the universe, is preordained. A man who works in the mines of Hephaestus, coating his lungs in mercury dust for naught but a few bits a night. This fate is set in stone? When he dies young, coughing up black blood, his part in the grand plan? No, I say. Greatness is in everyone. Not just those so fortunate as to have been born into prosperity. That was unexpected and odd. Analyzing the subtextual ordering. I believe it was a type of sermon, Captain. Very... zealous in origin.
think I'd like this place one little bit. Let's go. Living is overrated anyway. I guess this is what Edgewater is gonna look like in a couple of years. Never had much of a sweet tooth myself. Indulgences like Rizzo's were frowned upon in my household. We've got a fight on our hands.
I guess this is what Edgewater was going to look like in a couple of years. Never had much of a sweet tooth myself. Indulgences like Rizzo's were frowned upon in my household. You sure you're not a notice like that? Here we go! <laughs> Mercy from me. I nice 